I promise I'm not being extra. This is my freaking morning skincare routine. <sighs> Hopefully nothing broke. Okay. So it's time to share with you my morning skincare routine. It's a lot more intense than my night routine, believe it or not. I don't know why, that's just how it happened for me. If you think that I love activewear, you need to see my skincare collection. I don't know what it is. It's just something I really am interested in. I have been for years. Skincare is something I take super seriously. In fact, when I first started YouTube, I was doing a lot of skincare routines. That was the niche I was starting to gravitate towards, skincare and makeup emphasis on skincare. I own way more skincare than makeup. And to me, that's the point. I'd rather really invest in my skincare so that I need less makeup. That's the goal. Throw on my cat ears, cause we don't like strands in our face, okay? Not when we're dealing with serums and liquid. So fun fact, I don't wash my face in the morning. I save that for at night, at the end of a long day when I'm out and about, after I'm wearing a full face of makeup, that's when I will use my face wash because it's very drying. It works, it really has helped me in the acne department. I'll show you which face wash I do use. But when it comes to the morning time, I'm already sleeping on a pretty clean face. All I grab is my toner to just deep clean where I need it. I'm gonna get some skincare guru saying, girl, if you have really dry skin, what are you doing with all this toner? That's all I got. <laughs> just like activewear, skincare fits everybody differently, right? Everyone's skin is different. This is my skin routine approach and it has been working for years for me. And I came to it through a series of trial and errors. So this is what's working for me. I have very dry skin. It's freaking dry as heck right now as we speak because I didn't do my skincare yet, <laughs> all right? This is like hydration for my face. So I do start with this toner, yeah, whatever. It dries out your face, but I love this toner. It's a brightening toner from Ren. You're gonna see a lot of my skincare products are from this brand. They're very environmentally friendly, good to the planet. They have a very natural approach to skincare, so I am a huge fan. Their Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA, aha, tonic, as I like to say. This cleans all that nasty gunk from overnight. I'm sleeping without makeup, but I still manage to get the nastiest shit on my face. I don't know what it is. Maybe Bay is just spreading his germs, but it gets pretty gross, you'll see. It's very light citrus smell exactly what I want to smell first thing in the morning other than coffee. And mind you, I have pretty acne prone skin. I use a lot of dermatology grade skincare. I came to this because my drugstore skincare routine was just not working for me. I was getting acne everywhere. Very, oh, hold up. So this routine has really helped my acne clear up. I bought a bunch of these at Costco because I thought, you know what? I'm getting a great deal. I actually hate these pads so much. I'm gonna stick to my round cotton balls from now on. They get all over my lip. Like this is disgusting. I already had breakfast. I don't need this, thank you. Point is, is you see that? That's gunk. That's overnight gunk. After I'm done doing that, my face is gonna feel really extra dry, but I love knowing that I'm starting with a clean slate. Next up, this is my prized possession for a few reasons. I love this brand Skin Medica, dermatologist grade serum. This is like an all-in-one serum. This is their TNS Advanced Plus Serum. Supposedly it's good for cell turnover, which in turn helps with anti-aging. I am 34, gonna be 35 this year, so I take that very seriously. I'm trying to keep my skin plump, make it look like there's a lot of collagen and elastin in here, even though by the year it's just dwindling down to nothing. Skin Medica has been very good to me. As you can see, there's two little holes here. That's what she said, he said. Two different serums come out, and then you mix them together and then put them on your face. Mixing them together helps to just activate it. This serum, I swear by, I've been using it for years. It's disgustingly, disgustingly expensive. It's to the point where I've tried going without it just so I don't have to pay the price. But you know what? Sometimes you have to pay the freaking piper. So, squirt it out. This is what it looks like. There's two different serums, clear and white. Mix it together, concentrating it right where my wrinkles are, around the eyes. This part, then I forgot what the hell it's called. Mm. And then down the neck, don't forget about your neck. Treat it with respect, okay? It's part of your face. No, it's not, but you know what I mean. Oh, 
pat it in. Oh, already it feels so much better. I buy all of my skincare on dermstore.com. If you want a video on that, I, I love that website so much. You get points, which turns into free cash to use on the site. They have like every dermatologist green skincare out there and it's just my one-stop shop, so I love it. Next up from Ren, I use their Glow Daily Vitamin C Gel. Help brighten up the face. Some vitamin C in here. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. this, this too smells like citrus. Oh. Skincare gurus are probably gonna think I'm doing too much. Other people might think I'm not doing enough. Then I use their Evercom Global Protection Day Cream. Love this, help against the elements. Anything that can add any type of moisture to my face, I'm adding it. There's like 10 steps here, but it's worth it. I love the global protection because it's good, you know? If you're going out and about, you don't know what the elements have in store for you, especially if you live in cities or any high traffic areas. Protect against pollution. There's a lot of crud in the world and you just gotta protect yourself. So that's what that's for. Then I add on their Evercom Barrier Support Elixir. It's helping your skin barrier maintain its um, barrier. <laughs> Do I sound stupid? So now this is where the fun begins because those were creams. This is now another serum. So it looks like drop a few out here. I like this because it's got more of a serum oily feel to it. I like to add this on because what I'm about to do in just a second helps glide around my skin. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So after I put on this oil, you're gonna see it looks a little shiny. That's what I want because I actually use this. This is the facial sculpting wand. It smooths, firms, and tones your face. I actually bought this about like three years ago. It was extremely expensive. This shit was like $400, but there's something about it. I just, I just had to have it. I knew it would feel good on the face. I knew it would help in a lot of different ways. I knew it would help in stimulating blood flow to the face. This is what it looks like. Okay, I love facial tools and things like that. I'm a geek, I'm a nerd. Okay, there's different settings. It's a vibrator for your face. There, I said it. I like going in circular motions. It feels so good right at the 11, right here in, in the middle of the brow where you usually scrunch. This feels amazing. Now, what I use this for, obviously stimulating blood flow. When you stimulate your blood flow in your face, you're bringing necessary nutrients to your skin. I do this every single morning. Go right up these laugh lines. This is my problem area. I have laugh lines really intensely. Posture smells like I'm good. <laughs> Bay's on the bed watching me as we speak. <laughs> you like what you see? You married into this. I don't care what I have going on that day. This comes first. Everybody and everything can just wait. I even do the brow bone right here around the eyes, real gentle. I have it on the max speed. I love its intensity, but it just feels good. If not for anything else, it feels amazing. It just makes my face feel a little more fluid, if that makes sense. It just makes me feel more awake. So this is why I like to do this in the morning time. And I also like it because I have most of my serums already on. I feel like it can really help them penetrate into the skin better. Do some jaw lines here. Oh, trying to work on that jaw line in 2024, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gotta get it going. Gotta get it going. I can't turn to the side and look like it. Supposedly this helps to tighten everything up. And I feel like ever since I started using this, I do see a little different. It's not anything crazy. It's not like it's gonna sit here and give you Botox and whatnot. I've never done Botox. Have you? I've done other things. Got a nose job, but I've never done that. Okay, that's enough of that. There's a lot of things I can live without, but my skincare routine is like my princess thing. Okay, so I did that, I did that. Now, I love to add on Ren, yet again, whoo, big surprise. Perfect canvas, smooth prep and plump essence. I love this, obviously I'm running out, you can see. Oh, I gotta pick up more, that just reminded me. Suitable for sensitive skin. I wouldn't say that I have sensitive skin, but nevertheless, I really love this before I go to put on my makeup. I feel like it really does help just to smooth things out, hydrate, plump. Just add a little nice canvas layer to my face. So, goes on clear, there goes all my serum. Oh, yep, that feels great. That feels really great. As you can see, I put every single thing gently around my eyes as well. You just can't forget about your eye skin, okay? You're gonna have beautiful skin and then you're gonna just have like crow's feet and all sorts of crap going on around your eye. You gotta treat everything fairly, including your neck. 
okay. I have bad technic. I, obviously, I'm like looking down at my phone like at all hours of the day, and you naturally will get creases in the lines. So I'm really actively trying to pay attention to my neck this year, because I'm not gonna lie, the past like 10 years, I always kinda, eh, forget the neck kinda thing. Let me save on my serums and just focus on the money maker. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, we're getting towards the end, don't you worry. Now this, I'm also running out. Oh, I actually bought a backup already, I'm good. This is from the brand Epiance Renewal Facial Lotion. I have been using this facial lotion for four years about that, and I can't switch to any other facial lotion. If I use any products with heavy oils in it, my skin will break out. This is the most lightweight moisturizer. It smells just so light of a fragrance. I really can't pinpoint what it smells like. It's just a nice, clean, light smell. Oh, wow. It's just so refreshing when you put it on your face. And keyword lightweight. I hate when moisturizers are really heavy and then it weighs down my face and all day i mean on top of that you're putting your makeup on so i don't want it to feel so heavy this is the best moisturizer i've ever used it's not going to feel super hydrating i know what you're thinking like obviously you have dry skin ash are you using something super hydrating? Not really. I notice every time I go for a really extra hydrating moisturizer, my skin breaks out. I think it's just the oils that they use, just excessive oils for my face, and my face is just not agreeing with that. This has been my tried true forever moisturizer. I think I'm gonna be using this till I die. I'm missing something, what the hell am I missing? My SPF. I actually started using Super Goof Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40 because I got it in a box last summer, like a gift box from Gymshark. They gave me a really nice, cute little gift box that had a bunch of random things in it. One of those things was this Super Goop and I fell in love with it. Before this, I was using Tula. Their sunscreen just, it was all like mineral based and it was great, I loved it, I used it for a while, but it left chunks all over my face. So when I would put my makeup on, I'm just feeling like rolled up chunks and I didn't like that. <laughs> this goes on, looks just like Vaseline. It's so clear, very lightweight sunscreen. It smells like petroleum, okay, not a bad thing. And then I just lightly, gently put it everywhere, even around my eyes. Wait, you mean? Petroleum like petroleum jelly or petroleum like gasoline? Petroleum jelly. It smells like petroleum jelly. Okay, get down that neck. You know, I'm put a little extra on because I show my neck some love today. You know, they say go upwards, not downwards. You don't want to pull on your neck. I have so much going on on my face right now, but I love every second of it. I feel hydrated, I feel good, I feel smooth. I do have to wait a good half hour, maybe even 40 minutes before I put makeup on. Because it's so dewy and just milky and creamy right now, it's going to make my makeup just slide right off <laughs> if I try to. So there's been times when I've been in a rush and I throw my makeup on and it literally, just my eyeliner, my everything is just smearing all over the face. Place. <laughs> on my face and then I just have to redo my makeup. So it literally looks like I'm melting. So I have to wait at least a half hour before I put my makeup on. This is why I like to do this first thing in the morning. So let me know if you guys have any questions. If you'd like to see a nighttime routine or a makeup routine, please let me know. Like I said, I'm trying to minimize the amount of makeup that I wear every day. I'm not a huge fan of feeling like I have makeup on. I'm one of those gals that the second I get home, Bam, I'm in the bathroom washing off the makeup. If I know I'm not leaving the house or going anywhere, that makeup's off, like goodbye. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> segment of the video. Now it's time to <sighs> let that hair down and just get on with my bad self today. <laughs> oh, sh it is so cold outside, you know one of those those real cold days where your eyes can't stop watering because the wind just like wants to knock your eyeball out. That's how I feel right now. I'm supposed to get more snow overnight, about four inches. I just, I just don't know. But the cold ain't gonna stop me from making this video we're about to make. We're gonna be reviewing the new Honor Active Lounge today. Um, 
my hole is chilling in the back there somewhere. Nope, I'm not gonna look back there. It's disgusting, but it's somewhere back there. I, I love it because so many of you were DMing me like, girl, there's a new Otter Active launch. And I was like, already got it. Why are there two holes here? Simple. I went back for seconds. I thought I was good first time around. I also was a little bit panicky because I was like, I don't know how fast this is gonna sell out. I actually set an alarm this time. I grabbed my hole and then I started browsing the site again. I was like, well, maybe I need more though. Maybe this just isn't enough. And that's all she wrote. Make it rain. Oh my god. Wow, that one came out loud. The hype behind these mellow soft pieces was real. I'm on the Honor Active community page on Facebook. You guys were really raving about these pieces there. So now you guys got me extra excited. I'm not gonna lie. I grabbed two colors, the dune brown and the purple. <laughs> I forgot what it was called, hold on. I have Dune Brown and I have Vintage Purple. I grabbed Effortless and the Mellow Soft. So I have both. Stay tuned, I'm gonna be doing a review of the new Effortless because I don't know about you guys, they're Effortless, I love them. I love those leggings, but they're a little inconsistent in sizing. So I wanted to compare it to what I'm used to with them and do more of an in-depth review with the Effortless, see if these new colors are squat proof, this and that. Mellow Soft, here we go. Ooh. This dune brown is something fierce. Ooh, okay. I love that they have such a beautiful embroidered logo. They don't go skimp. What is dirty all over my hands? Sorry, these the package. stupid, these stupid, stupid, dirty packages. This is what's gonna get all over this activewear and I can see it right now. Damn. Not when I'm this excited. You ain't gonna ruin my vibe here. Ooh, okay. These are pretty nice and thick and dense. Okay, so this is the hole where I grabbed the cuff joggers because I naturally wear cuff joggers more than anything else. Clearly I'm wearing them right now with, the, with Young LA. But I also grabbed a straight leg too. Inside is plush, okay. But not overly plush, even better. Wow. Hmm. Let's see what we have here. Okay, I got the full length hoodie. The crop looks super cute too, but I do think I'm gonna get more use out of the full length. This is effortless, stay tuned for that. Sneak peek of some effortless. Vintage purple. I actually went back for seconds and got the long sleeve. Oh my God. This is so, so soft. This is not at all what I thought it would be. And now I'm glad I went for seconds. Things happen for a reason. Wow, I really, you know what? In the picture, when I saw it online, I was like, eh, take it or leave it. This looks kind of stiff. Nah, dude, this is really mellow soft. Yeah, Oh, stretch feels good. What I appreciate is that Honor Active has different lengths. So even though wide leg is usually horrendously long on me, I do have faith because I hit the short button. Ooh, 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 yes. Okay, yes. I was not expecting this, but I'm the most excited for this right now. <laughs> Let's go try these on. Houston, we have a problem. I need to go back for some more <laughs> because this long sleeve, it is so weightless and so comfortable and so stretchy. It's thin, but it's breathable. Only little issue, this isn't even an issue, this is just me nitpicking, is that there's a little bit of slack right here it's hard to pull it all the way down. It's already full length. It's already coming right down here. So it wrinkles and bunches ever so slightly here. It's just that type of material. Do you see this stretch? Wow. I can look past this. It's not a huge deal to me. I actually really like the seam placement right here. Right on the sides, adds a little movement to the piece. Something that just draws the eye to this area. One thing I will say is it's a little, just a little bit see-through, I think, right? Just a tad, nothing crazy. I do think because it's so thin, you naturally will see the outline. So wear a seamless nude bra. That's why I love my Ebby. I should have worn it, but I didn't think about it. But Ebby's bras, I will wear under here to give just a smoothing effect to this piece. Cause this is a very, very body fit. You will see lines, you will see your bra underneath. So be mindful of what you wear underneath it. When it comes to this long sleeve, in between, size down. True size small is good. The reason I say size down is only because 
Like I said, it tends to wrinkle in certain places, so it's meant to be body fit. The more body fit, the better. If you size up, it runs the risk of more wrinkle. Now, if you size down too much though, it's probably gonna be more sheer than it already is. It's doable now, but if you size down too small, if you want that real skin tight look, just be aware it might be a little sheer. Mark my words, man, I need this, this look, this style, this material, all of this, but in a bodysuit. I need something that pulls this down, really keeps that silhouette look to it, then it would be perfect. I mean, I love this long sleeve as it is, but I think a bodysuit in addition to this material would just be, Mm, perfect. I do believe that you're gonna wanna wash this top like you would active wear. Given that it's so elastic, it really runs the potential of it getting messed up if you put this in any hot water or heat to dry. Play it cool, literally. Wash on cool, lay flat to dry. I can already tell. Color is amazing. Did they come out with this in purple? Cause I'm gonna get that one too. Yep. I love this long sleeve. Am I sweating under here? I am. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay, I knew it. Yeah, I had a feeling this material would show sweat like no other. This is similar to what I experienced when wearing the Paragon Air Silk material. They're actually very similar. They're both very lightweight, thin, stretchy, buttery soft. I do think that if you're a heavy sweater, just be mindful, wear a cardigan over this or something like that. Unless you don't care what people think, then free the pit. It's called like like beautiful pits or something like that. <laughs> no. Yeah, apparently there's like an armpit fetish. People have armpit fetishes. So in case you couldn't hear Bay just now, he literally said that he found me and my armpits on some freaky ass forum. Well, slow down. I didn't search it and find it. Someone tagged you. Someone tagged me in it? Yep. It's called Crispy Armpits. <laughs> and it's literally a whole page dedicated to girls lifting their arms. What about my armpits is screams crips crispy. <laughs> At least pay me for my armpit pictures. <laughs> I have no comments of this anymore. We need to move on because all of a sudden I'm just grossed out. <sighs> just never know what people are doing behind the screen. So how I have it styled, the long sleeve, and then I put the wide leg jogger over it. True size small, working, definitely working. Definitely comfortable. Is there a nice stretch in here? Not really, not a whole lot of stretch, but there's enough room where I don't feel like that's an issue one bit. How's the length though? Just made it, oh, you just made it girl. Let's see what it looks like without the Ugg. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. It just touches the ground, does it not? If I wear shoes or slippers, I should be just fine. I wasn't sure about this waistband. To be honest with you, this was the one thing I was like unsure of. I'm weird when it comes to waistbands. If it pushes into my midsection even just a little bit, I'm automatically turned off from it. This is doing just fine the way it is. I don't feel like I need to tie it. It's not moving around. It's hugging the waist really nicely, but not too tight. It is coming high-waisted on me. There's just enough slack in these joggers to be comfortable, to be stylish, not over the top baggy. I appreciate the fact that there's a nice amount of groin space because honestly, sometimes with sweats, sometimes it gets a little too close for comfort in this area. You know what I'm saying? They did good. I mean, you do have a seam here, but they did a great job at allowing some breathing room here. Really nice high quality embroidered logo right here. It's like three dimensional, very thick. I'm really impressed with it actually. <laughs> Right out of the gate, I can see why the hype was real with these pieces, because automatically putting them on, I'm definitely impressed. When it comes to these joggers, it's soft inside, just the right amount of soft plush, but on the outside, it's nothing like that. It's almost actually like more of a, a rugged texture on the outside, which is good. You're not gonna snag if you walk around. It doesn't slip when I squat. No, nothing moves, nothing budges. There is a little bit of a gape, so not a big deal. I could just tie it right here. All right, I'm gonna try on the cuff joggers with the hoodie real quick. I really don't want to take this long sleeve off. Okay, what are we thinking of the cuffed joggers? Definitely more of my speed and what I'm used to wearing, but I did want to mix it up with the wide leg. 
But yeah, just, there's just something so put together about a cuffed jogger. I feel like I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to think about it. It's not dragging on the ground. These are very comfortable, nicely done. Wow, this hoodie definitely has an oversized feel to it. You can size down if you'd like. This is a bit big on me, but hey, I'd like it big. The baggier, the better. So this oversized fit is working for me. Kangaroo pockets. So far, I'm not feeling a heavy hood syndrome. They added in a drop sleeve right here. So you can see where the seam is placed a little bit lower, adding to that overall baggy style. I love when oversized fits do this. It just adds to the overall aesthetic. The cuffs are not that tight around the wrists, so they will naturally just like fall past. You see that? It just, it'll fall, okay? It's not that tight. So keep that in mind. That might get annoying if you're trying to do things with your hands. I think you could probably get away with cuffing these. This is hard to do with one hand. Thank you. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, we're good here. Cool. Yeah, definitely, uh, nah, I don't know if I like that. That looks stupid. I feel like this set is great. It's dense, it feels durable, embroidery's on point, but it's not overly heavy. That's something I need to be mindful of. If my sweats are too heavy, I'm naturally gonna feel that weight and just be like, okay, time to get off my body now. I think they were spot on with this collection. I really do. I have no real critiques. Just minor things here and there, but I think they did a stellar job on this entire launch. Now, I don't know how the effortless is gonna be, so maybe that's subject to change. You're gonna have to wait till the next video. But I do think I'm gonna go back and get some more of this Mellow Soft. I think they did such a good job. To be honest, one of the most comfortable long sleeve fitted shirts I've ever worn. So make sure you subscribe because next up, we're gonna be testing out the effortless leggings that dropped in this launch. So we have the purple, we have the dune brown. I'm excited. We're gonna test it out in the gym. So stay tuned for that video. It'll be up very shortly. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you have any questions, just let me know. I do plan on doing a lot more honor active hauls in the near future. I know a lot of you guys are interested. This is like one of the most requested brands on this channel, to be honest with you. I'm excited to see what this year brings in terms of Honor Active. Also drop a comment, what are your thoughts on the new format? I'm trying to show a little bit more of me, my other interests outside of active wear, because believe it or not, there are some, <laughs> not many, but some. So if you guys enjoy this format and would like to see more, please, please do me a favor and let me know in the comments. I'll catch you guys next time. I'm sorry, there's like literal shit all over my right now. When I have this upside, right? Upside up. <laughs> the, the fuck, who, why? What's up, my armpits are so gross. Now I know I use, actually I use, what the hell do I use? <laughs> How? For me to update my review, update my perspective. The second I hear armpit fetish, I'm out. I just taste of blood. This is from the band, Brand. You didn't know we're listening to music. Put this all back now. If you're somebody screenshotting my armpit pictures, fuck you. <laughs>